We've got three five-minute rounds of MMA action in the atom weight division coming your way. Claudia Diaz in the blue corner, Ariana Melendez in the red. Larry Downs is the third man in the cage. Third person. Third person. It's 2024. We got 2023. And we're off. Just as we predicted, fast coming out. Both shot out like a rocket, looking to do work. MMA Masters, that's, uh, I'm, if I'm correct, that's where Colby uh, Covington trains. Col uh, and former UFC female champion, uh, or current, uh, I don't ever remember. Uh, Nunez? Yes. She, yeah, she used to train at MMA Masters. Uh, I believe she started her career there. Yeah. So. And then she transitioned on to American Top Team. Now she has her, her own gym. Oof. Heavy hands. Both parties. Claudia Diaz landing two or three really good unanswered shots. Ariana, Mel Ariana, Ariana Melendez clinches up. Work, great clinch game. Both ladies trading knees. Going for knees to the leg. Smart. Limit that mobility. Really builds your offense. Exactly. If somebody's legs start to deteriorate, they, the muscles start to fatigue, or if it's just hurting, you can't really plant to shoot a take. Now, you can't plant to throw those power shots. Diaz backing up with no regard for the power of Melendez. Oof. Both look, shaking her head off, eats one to the chin, shakes it off like it was nothing. Melendez comes back with a heavy, heavy takedown. Yeah, it definitely looks like the game plan for Ari Melendez is, you know, take her to the ground to finish her off, and then Claudia Diaz is just looking to stand and bang. Diaz appears to have a substantial size, not just height, but she even looks heavier than Melendez, which is evident with that takedown attempt. Melendez had didn't even make a, a Diaz buckle. Great knees by Melendez. Both ladies trading knees. Claudia with the extensive kickboxing background. Ooh, ripping the body. Now Claudia looking for a takedown of her own there. But a good right. balance there by, like a by Ari. And as she's, looking, it, she's to looking to sink that, that, yep. she's she's that guillotine. Brilliant move, putting her hand down on the mat, getting her hips away to try to sink that guillotine. Diaz doing a great job trapping the hand under Melendez. Veteran move. Melendez hold, setting up, looking for that arm in guillotine. If Diaz doesn't keep her pressed up against the fence, we could see a choke. Yeah, you util definitely utilize that fence. You know, think of the fence as, a, as an extra you know, friend holding your opponent up while you ground and pound, beat him up, or you try to sink in those submissions. The cage is your friend in there. Melendez is doing a great job pulling uh, Diaz's head offline. If you could. Can't really see it probably from home, but she's got Diaz's chin pointed towards her shoulder. When you take that head out of line, it diminishes your strength considerably. Nice. Looks like we might get another. Very tight. This is tight. Yeah, it looks tight here. That is deep. Diaz is purple. Diaz and taps. taps. We have three finishes in a row by Cho. The look on Diaz's face. Kid Cannot Diamond gets see. it done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your referee calls a stop to this bout in the first round at three minutes and 30 seconds. Ariana, the Kid Diamond Melendez. Kid Diamond finishing with the guillotine choke in 3.30 in the first round. What a crazy fight. Watching that fight, you at no point in time did you ever imagine that's how it was going to finish. You saw Kid Diamond hunting for that choke the whole time and managed to finish. Fantastic fight. 